Hi there, Steve Coffin here. Uh, I want to. Most of you know me as a person who gets on uh, YouTube here and talks about input-based language learning. Occasionally talks about politics. I'd like to do more of that. But I have another life. I'm uh, involved in the wood business. I'm uh, one of the shareholders in a sawmill in northern Alberta. Uh, last week with my wife, we went there for our annual Christmas party, dance party with the employees, and it was also the 20th anniversary of the founding of the mill. Manning's located in the Peace River region, which straddles Alberta and BC. It's a rich region of farmland. It's very far north for being an agricultural area. There's oil and gas up there. There's um, and forests. Uh, there's been a lot of change. There's a shortage of labor in Alberta generally as a result now at the mill in the little town of Manning of 1,000 people. There are maybe a hundred Filipinos, 10 or 15 or 20 of whom work at the mill. Uh, and so there's quite a mixture of people. The area was settled initially by, uh, I mean, the, the natives have lived there for thousands of years in the cold, uh, in the winter at least. And it was settled by people from Europe, uh, British, Ukrainian, uh, French, uh, German, you name it. Uh, so you'll notice uh, in these videos that I show you that we have quite a mixture of people, uh, natives, Filipino, European origin people. Uh, you'll see the party, you'll see the food uh, cooked up by the Ukrainian ladies, pierogies and such. And since there's a significant Ukrainian group and Polish uh, origin people, the people like to make fun of themselves. So you'll see we have a comedian who's one of the people from the town who uh, put on her Ukrainian costume and made fun of uh, pretended to speak with a Ukrainian accent during our safety presentations where we give, um, you know, workers who have worked safely for 20 years or 10 or 15 years uh, various prizes. So have a look at this and I'll have a few comments to say at the end. Thanks for listening. But don't go away because I'm going to come on at the end after you see this medley of videos that I've taken with my iPhone. Okay, well, I hope you can hear out there. Here we are in northern Alberta, near Manning, Alberta. Today is quite warm. What's the temperature today, Ray? About 20. Minus 20 Celsius. Yesterday we were like 32. 32, the coldest in the world. The day. I mean, it was warm. It was. It warmed up a bit. A Earlier bit. in the day it was 38, 39. With the wind. No, 39 without the wind. Yeah. With like 50 with, with the wind. With the wind, sorry, yeah. So, and uh, so we decided that the, the coldest day... The coldest place in the world, we're going snowshoeing. snowshoeing. So yesterday we went and it was cold. But today is like minus 20. It's warm. It's really nice. So we don't expect to uh, meet up with any bears, deer, maybe moose. A, maybe a moose and a deer. Me yeah, but we're ready for them. And then with that we will continue. And tonight is the 20th anniversary party of Manning Diversified Forest Products. Rail runs the place. And we are building and expanding and particularly getting into energy so that there isn't a sliver of, wor of wood that doesn't get utilized. Because this wood here is renewable. Right, although we don't saw this kind of stuff. And you'll notice that MDFP, MDFP, <laughs> and Richard, our cameraman, is MDFP. And that's who we are. Thank you. Right on. food here. Move the ball by moving your head 
the way you wish, and the ball must stick to the Vaseline for three seconds. Three, three, that's like three, that's like MBFP. Cut down three, that's the same three, okay? Yes, Patty McAvoy. Oh, Patty would like some more Vaseline. I think that's good. Oh, yeah, you really look good on your knees. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm talking to one of the local residents here at Manning. Would you qualify as a local resident? Yes, 20 years. 20 years. 20 years. And aside from working at the mill, you are a hunter. Yes. You hunt animals, you kill. You are a killer. A uh, hunter, yes. And we kill as well. All right, but you eat everything you hunt. Yes. And what do you hunt for? Moose, uh, bear, yeah. deer, yeah. elk, yeah. Uh, grouse, yeah. different birds, uh, right. geese and ducks. Okay. And uh, you're also telling me that uh, to supplement your uh, carnivorous diet, you eat berries. What kind of berries and mushrooms do you find here? Oh, uh, mushrooms. Uh, morels are here, shaggy mane, the inky top. Yeah. Uh, mushrooms. As much as that, berries at the right time of year. Saskatoon berries, yeah. blueberries, uh, ra wild raspberries, wild cranberries. Cranberries, uh, rose hips. Rose hips. Oh, Cla cloud berries. Cloud berries. Cecilia, come in here, Cecilia. No. <laughs> We're, we're doing it. This is going to go viral on my YouTube oh, yeah. channel. This is the lovely Cecilia. Now, do you approve of Al killing animals? Yes, I do. There you have it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about manning or the forest industry, please send me a note. And the next time I post, it will probably be on language learning. Bye for now.